The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada brings you, yes, you, the best ways to find what you're looking for, part substitutions, and more on DigiKey.com. Thank you. DigiKey, Lady Ada, what is a great search of the week this week? Okay, so um, let's go to the overhead and I'm going to show off some shield designs. So this week I've been working on this TFT shield and um, shields are devices that plug into my controllers like um, you know this Arduino and I also have this um, uh, sorry Metro Arduino shaped things and they have this version and um, most uh, shields have pin headers so like this NFC shield um, has pin headers that are soldered in and then you know plug in nicely oh, sorry plug in nicely over here um, into the socket headers so um, let me see another shield. This is like a tester shield, for example, and this uh, plugs in nicely, nice and securely. Um, and then you've got um, the pins on the top and the pins on the bottom, and they make a good mechanical electrical connection. Um, however, there's once in a while you'll have a shield where you uh, can't have through headers. Like, for example, this TFT shield I'm working on. The TFT shield is uh, has this 2.8 inch display, and the display is like exactly the same size as the shield and so if i did have the pins come through like on you know these others um they would come up and they would short against this metal piece that holds the backlight and that would be very sad um yes you know you could maybe put padding or something but especially with something that's a touch screen where people are like poking and prodding it and pushing it um there's a high percentage that even if you have a foam protector or something um that these sharp little um pin ends would poke through the top and again short to the metal uh plate so no good so in such cases um i like to use surface mount headers and you can see here um these headers they the way they're manufactured is much like pin headers except that the ends are bent over and they're belt they're bent over alternating style like one over one to the left one to the right and uh you know it's not as strong as through hole but it's fairly strong like i've had fewer issues than i'd expect especially if, is uh if you're using long um number of pins like i went two pins i don't know that would be really tough there's not a lot of mechanical strength but once you get to six or eight or ten um there's enough alternating uh solder pads that are really held down um that this is you know pretty much as strong like I mean if you really wrenched it it'll it'll break off but if you really wrench these it'll they'll break off too so or they'll they'll bend so um this and then of course this two by three socket header um make for a very elegant connection when you don't want any pins sticking out the top um there's a lot of different reasons maybe you also want to have a very clean design on the top um, they do cost a little bit more, but they are stocked at DigiKey. I thought I'd show people how to find them since we've done pin headers before, but we've not done surface mount pin headers. So let's go to the computer and uh, let's search for header. That's what it's called. Uh, and there's the specialty header, and you'd think that maybe it would be under specialty header, but actually specialty header is like really the weirdest stuff you've ever seen, like these really like crimping ones and these these ones where you can solder into the cups they have like solder cup ends very in like swiss pin style uh these are definitely the weird ones uh cool things here um but that we're looking for because we want the surface mount so i mean look at this like what is going on here uh milmax i mean there's three thousand in stock this must be useful for something slots i don't know what that's for check out the data sheet okay so uh but what we want is just um pin headers and there's of course also socket versions of these as well oh um let me go over i'll show quickly on the overhead i'm not gonna cover it on the um great search but if you you just mimic exactly what i'm searching but in the female socket header area and you can see um this metro also doesn't have headers that go all the way through um they also are socketed and have um alternating legs and, uh, you know, there's a couple different reasons to do this one. You know, you want a really nice smooth bottom here that can't short against anything on the table. Um, but also for manufacturability, you know, you can pick and place these components. Um, and in this particular case, this was made, this one was made before we had a selective solder machine. And so it was 
actually easier and cheaper for us to pick and place these surface mount headers than it was to hand solder um, all the pins. Now, you know, we have selective solder and uh, we have partners that do wave soldering so we can, um, or, you know, hand solder. Uh, so we can do that for these uh, through letters, but there's there's quite a few pins, so they, they do add up. Okay, sorry, let's go back to the uh, computer and, and continue on our quest. Um, so we want uh, stacked, we want active, and I'm going to look for, uh, you know, only one row. Oh, they do have uh, surface mount dual row, but not triple row. Dual row, the pins go like, you know, they, they go out like this, but three pins there's nowhere for that third pin to go so uh for three row like if for servo connections you would um if it's three by four you have to go through hole uh i'm gonna go look looking for only one row for now but again uh you want two row just select two row pin uh pitch in this case we're looking for your classic 0.1 inch 2.54 and then number of pins again pick however many in this case i'm doing eight because that's common, but on an Arduino shield, um, Arduino compatible shield, you'll want six, two eights, and then one ten. Oh, and they're unshrouded. There's nothing, there's no plastic around them. Okay, so apply. It looks like half from a half a million down to 175. Uh, and you can take a look. Okay, so we have, you know, there's definitely, whoa, these are like kind of weird, weird pins. Let's go availability. Did I pick something wrong? Because these are unusual. Hmm, weird. I don't think so. Why right? did I pick number of rows, one row, eight pin, pin pitch, point one, product status, active, shrouded, shrouded. I don't know. Let's also look for uh, only, oh, I must have done something. Let me, uh, let me clear these out. I don't know what happened here. Actually, I'm just going to go back to the category. Whoa, something really bad happened here. Let's uh, let's go back and let's start over. Maybe I selected something wrong. Okay. Pins. Okay, so I want active. And... I'll do number of rows one or um, dash. And let me pick normally stocking. Let's see. I like to look. Okay, yeah. So I'm getting reasonable looking stuff. And then I want uh, eight positions, eight pins. Okay, apply. This is a little slower. I'm just going one one at a time and making sure that yeah okay i'm still i'm seeing stuff that looks reasonable and then i don't want um no shrouding let's see okay yeah so i'm getting all the through hole versions so if you just want through hole pins or right angle these are what's showing up now Okay, cool. But now I want um, pitch of 0 0.1. And I'm also going to select the dash here in case that has stuff. So let's select that. And yeah, most of them are still going to be here. Looks good. And then surface mount. So there's also right angle, there's also right angle surface mount, which I'll which I'll show. Honestly, right angle surface mount header um, is, I think, is is tougher to uh, mechanically um, support because at least with the vertical, the style that points up, you have like those alternating legs that are bent out. With the right angle style, they look like this. There's really like, it's so easy to rip those right off because there's nothing keeping them down um onto the pcb so uh and you see some of the ones that we are looking for um so you know yes they do exist but um you really need to have something mechanical on top 
holding them in place so they don't they don't get torn off. Even the more pad more pads doesn't help. Like I you know maybe if they were like really huge pads with lots of vias, maybe like it would be mechanically strong, but I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, and then um, I wanted to come on. Well, we'll talk about that. Opposition's loaded. Let's do that. And then I'm going to get rid of the right angle. Because I actually don't want right angle. I want the straight up style. Okay, cool. Lots of options here. Uh, let's also pick ones that are in stock. And it's something interesting. So some of these come in a bulk package. So bulk means they're like literally in a bag. And these are a little less expensive. Um, so if you look at these two, these are like the same part. But one of them comes in bulk and one comes in tape and reel. And you'll notice that the bulk one is a tiny bit cheaper. Um, when you get these on tape and reel, they're going to come with a little tape cap, a little piece of plastic that allows the pick and place to pick it up. And also the reel is like kind of tall and chunky. So the reeling itself, it's like not inexpensive. Um, so it's a little bit more pricey, but I'm going to use it in the pick and place. So, and you know, if you're using it, with a contract manufacturer, they're definitely going to be like, hey, you need to give it to us in tape and reel. We're not going to, I wouldn't take it in bulk or a tube. Those are going to get stuck in the tube or they're going to be hard to hand place. But if if you happen to be hand soldering these or hand placing them, you know, bulk is fine, I guess. And then uh, contact length. Um, I think these are five. Let me just quickly check my, my multimeter. I mean, you can, of course, get shorter headers. But um, let's see, I'm gonna grab these and the contact length I want is, it's about six millimeters. Yeah, so these two, and then this is like long, and then this is like short, well, shorty style. And then, um, you know, you can choose gold or tin. Honestly, I feel like these days gold finish is kind of where it's at. Okay. So we're down to five options. Let's look. Um, some things from Sam Tech um, and some, you know, this option from 3M. Uh, Sam Tech, a couple different options. Definitely the least expensive is going to be this Econo stick um, at, you know, about 20 cents in quantity this is my pick i'll say one one last note on these so this all yes you can see this is the the picking cap the pickup cap so it's stuck on and you remove it when you're done one thing i will note is that and this has bitten me is that this layout whether it's the rightmost this rightmost pin or leftmost pin is up or down is not consistent between SMT headers. And I've gone, I've run out of like an SMT header and been like, oh no, like let me find an alternative and realize that it was the alternate orientation, like the pins were the opposite way. And so honestly, I recommend if you're gonna do the layout for these and you don't, you don't have a guaranteed, I have this connector and I'm 100% sure I'm always gonna have this connector. Even though this has um, alternating like zigzag contacts, you should put in the missing ghost contact here and here and here, like where these crosses come, have another set of contacts and you know, the paste will just go on them and they won't be used. But if you happen to need to swap the orientation because you can't get one and the other, like the replacement you have happens to have the other way around, you can pick and place it and it'll still work fine. Um, because you'll have both contacts. So, you know, believe me, it's, it's happened to me. And uh, I was like really bummed that I was just like, oh my God, I have like 5,000 of these connectors and like I can't use them or I can use them on the next revision. So the next revision I did, I did the alternate. Now I have a, a standardized and I have the connector and I don't, I'm, I'm careful um, with that. But um, just as it just as an alert that there is two, there's chiralities to um, these SMT headers. So this is my pick for a great search and it's in stock even. And it's a great search. Wait.